So the record of using the most expensive deck possible is 4,000 trophies by Daddy KFC Clash. 4,000 trophies, the challenge was complete. So I want to beat his record and not just pass 4,000, but get to 5,000 trophies. Of course though, this was gonna take hours, especially since the deck got harder every arena. But I have no life, so I created a brand new account and started pushing. Then I came up with the best name ever. American player, because we already know the Americans cost like 10 elixir, and since we're playing expensive decks, then yeah. And right off the bat, I bought a special offer. I love pay to win games. I then bought this with the gems I got. Training camp, chest opening, 109 arrows. And that's good because giant is expensive. And witches. I then started replacing cards. So which one? I don't care about minions. Okay, now we're gonna replace Goblin Cage for one of the three elixir cards. And we gotta replace another three elixir card already. And after some upgrading, we're already level six and have a level eight witch. And we haven't even started pushing Arena 1. Arena 1 was super easy since I was overleveled. I'm so overleveled. <laughs> Cut. New Arena Reach, Arena 2. And after some pushing, I had to remove another card. Ah, uh, let's say goodbye to our final three Elixir card. Average of 4.4. Since it was only the start of the challenge, I was pushing trophies quicker than my right hand at night. Come on, Mini Pekka and Larry's. Larry, Larry, one trophy away, Arena 3. No, we can unlock Barbarians now. Oh, let's quickly buy this. After buying some more stuff and opening some chests, this happened. And we unlock Barbarians. I'm gonna use instead of Mini Pekka, Musketeer, or Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Uh, our deck was much more expensive now, but it wasn't too bad and we made it to Arena 5. You know what? Let's see if the Barbarians can be useful for once. Come on, it's like the only good card in this whole cycle. Look how expensive this is. Come on, Barbarians. Do something. And damn, Arena 4, Arena 4, Arena 4. After buying more stuff and pushing a little more, this happened. Wait, already have Inferno Tower? Well, let's go wizard. Let's replace it for one of these four. I think it's going to be goblin cage. And wizard instead of musketeer. Since that kind of replaces musketeer. This deck is looking way too heavy now. Every arena, this deck was becoming harder than me when I see Archer Queen. But we made it to arena five. Bible prediction something. <gasps> oh! Oh! My chair went like 10 miles back. Okay, come on barbarians, do something. The barbarians did something for once in their lives. Yes, let's go on Inferno Tower for the Giant. The Musketeer can hit my tower, I don't care. I'm used to women hitting me. The Fireball Valley, if I perfectly time it. And now we are in Arena 5. I then bought some black men and other stuff. Oh my god, my bank account is crying. The price cost for that black man wasn't worth it, but the gems definitely were. We gotta use Rocket instead of Fireball or Mini Pekka. I'm thinking Fireball. I then spent the gems that I got on a chest that gave me cards that were not in my deck as usual. And this was my final game to Arena 6 using this new deck. Damn, bro has Posh Royale. If I type... Oh! Oh! Barbarians, mini Pekka. Come on, Barbarians, take the woman down. How are you going to let one woman handle you all? It's Ah, okay, it's fine. I'm going to get his tower back. I'm going to predict this mini Pekka somewhere here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Like a mini pecker, come on, take it one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. And I'm gonna put a giant and predict whatever he puts. Put a giant and predict whatever he puts. Goblin heart. Okay, we predicted his Larry's. Come on, giant. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Oh, oh. Arena six. I then, of course, bought another special offer and had to replace another card in the deck. Right, now we're gonna replace her. So now we're gonna replace mini pecker for mommy pecker. And yeah, I mean, we have to. He's like the only four elixir card left. The deck was still somewhat usable, so the grind to Arena 7 was not too challenging. Scissors fight is about to happen. It should be the witch in front of the giant, because, you know, he puts a rocket. Look at that one, Larry. Look, 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 there's a skeleton that was hidden in the giant. Look at him, look at him, look, look at him go. Arena 7, I believe. Let's go. 400 royal giants here. Oh, my bank account is going to cry, but we get 400 Royal Giants, which is good because we're going to need them. Oh, and we can buy this. Okay, wild cards. 
Royal Recruits, we unlocked the 7 elixir card. We have to use it now. Oh, three musketeers. Dark Prince, we're unlocking new stuff. Mortar, don't give me cards that I don't have in my deck. I'm not using these cards. Okay, witch, that's fine. Three musketeers, I'd say instead of barbarians. Royal Recruits definitely instead of Goblin Hut. Goblin Hut is useless. Royal American instead of the normal American. And I think I'm going to use Prince instead of Inferno Tower because it's kind of useless, Inferno Tower. The new deck looks scary, but I proceeded to upgrade it and carry on pushing. But Arena 7 was a massive struggle as the deck was getting super hard to use, but we finally made it out. Royal Recruits, since I can't... Bro, I have nothing to defend. I'm gonna defend with Royal Giant. I literally have nothing. The three Americans put Mummy American. But luckily, the opponent left just like my father, and I won. Finally, Arena A. Look at my replays. I have so many losses. One loss, another loss. This deck got so complicated. I then decided to buy the pass royale. We needed the pass royale since my cards were starting to get a little bit underleveled. And after opening so many chests, this happened. And we unlock giant skeleton. So now I gotta replace this, this, or this. I think I'm gonna get rid of wizard. It's the most useless one in the deck. And after a while, I took another disappointment. Tombstone, cannon lightning so now we gotta use lightning instead of prince or witch and we definitely need the witch because we have no air defense except this but this is useless this challenge was getting harder by the minute because my cards were just way too expensive so defending was super hard especially cards like skeleton army because i had no splash damage or cheap cards to defend them the only thing carrying was my over leveled cards let's go put over there predict uh, oh, the Larry took the tower down. I'm gonna put giant skeleton to like explode in front of all of them. Okay, wait. Oh, this is gonna be orgasmic. Oh my. Oh my. And now that bomb is gonna explode as well. Please defend everything. Oh, yes. And where did that mini clicker come from? I think we're good. He puts a fireball. Okay, we're not good. Distracted with the royal giant here. It's now the Skarmy. The Skarmy is seriously bending me over. I don't like how tight this game is. It's tighter than the archer. Please, 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 please. Okay. Oh, oh, come on, witch. Oh, ah! Arena 9, jungle arena. What can we get here? No, you must be playing. Barbarian hut. I then bought an offer and opened some pass royale stuff and this happened. Oh, we can get legendary here. If I get Mega Knight, this will be perfect. This is 7 elixir. Why did I get 20k gold? Basically, I got scammed. Oh, and then another offer popped up, so I bought it for $13. And in the offer, I got goddamn Goblin Giant. My witch is level 11, and I gotta replace it for a level 6 shit card. Now, we were on our way to Arena 10, and this was getting so challenging. Okay, Goblin Giant. That's the team puts. There we go with the Skarmy. Just like that one tower. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. That's like the only defense I have. Ah, he freeze. As you can see, my deck was so expensive. I was making elixir trades more negative than my dog's pregnancy test. Let alone defending swarm cards was impossible. Why did he randomly freeze my tower? I think he froze a little early, don't you think? Lightning the wall breakers, positive elixir trades we're doing here. I'm gonna make the giant skeleton die so the bomb can explode and all of that. This is not looking great. This is not looking great. Please, can the bomb come on time? Can the bomb come on time? Oh my days. Three musketeers. No way. Three musketeers, please go on time. Please go on time. Please go on time. Please, three seconds, three seconds, two seconds, two. Oh, oh okay. I got super lucky there since I had no elixir to defend and after lots of battling, this happened. I'm gonna defend this, I'm gonna defend this, I'm gonna defend this, we're lightning, we're lightning, please, 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 300, 300, 300, come on, I have like four giants there, no, the wall breakers are coming, the wall breakers are coming, <sighs> arena 10, let's go, arena 10, I then spent $50 in gems, because I needed to make some serious upgrades, let's go, I then spent all the gems I got on opening chests, and out of all the chests I opened, practically nothing, absolutely nothing that I wanted or needed came up. I only got useless cards. It was the biggest waste of money of my life. I can't believe it. We ended up with level 1 Elite Barbarians and no levels in my deck changed. What's a 6 elixir card I don't want here? Royal Giant is kind of useless. 
You're telling me all those gems I just bought. Ah, uh, I then unlocked Dwayne the Rock Johnson. We gotta replace it instead of the Royal American, the Skeleton American. And I think I'm gonna replace it instead of this because he's kind of useless. Oh, uh, this looks suicidal. Arena 10 was a true pain. Please, please take the balloon down. Please take the balloon down. Please take the balloon. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. This deck was incredibly hard to use. And let me just save you some time. I lost this game. Please, please. Oh, my. Oh, my. But anyways, after a hard grind, I made it out of the hood. This is the easiest game we had till now. This challenge is going so horrible for me. And we are out of the hood. Let's go, Electro Valley. And after some more grinding, I got some legendary chests. And guys, let's go. Let's go in for a fast legendary. Please give me Mega Knight. Please, Mega Knight. Oh, whatever. Come on. Attempt number two. Oh, wild card. Oh, Sparky. I can use that. I can use that. I can use that. Mega Knight. 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 Another Sparky. I mean. Mummy Sparky, I'm gonna put you instead of... I'm in between these two and I think this one. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm not gonna complain. At least we got something we could use. And this was my final game to Arena 12. Oh, uh oh. We're gonna rocket that. We're gonna rocket that. No, I think I missed. I think I missed. I think I missed. I think, I... I think that's gonna cost me the game. Yeah, I messed up that rocket. I'm gonna try hit the Valkyrie and the... He has so much counter. Inferno Tower, Inferno Dragon. Like, it's crazy. All right, let's go with um, three musketeers. All right, this is our final attempt. He messes up that. Come on, please. 14 seconds left, please. Please. 14 seconds left. Come on, please. Connect. 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 Please. Three, let's go. Sparky here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Sparky, connect. Rocket, let's go. Pekka. Mommy, Pekka. Bro, woman of cousin. Oh, my day. We could have won that easily if I didn't mess up the rocket placement, but it's fine. We are in Arena 12 now. I then opened this chest in Trophy Road, and once again, I got nothing I wanted. Please, just a Mega Knight. Just a Mega Knight. It's all I'm asking for. After 11 hours of grinding, we officially passed KFC Clash's 4,000 trophy record, and now we were on our final stretch to 5,000 trophies. There we go. There you go. Just say that. Meg and I just connects to my tower. Now he has Prince. Yeah, I'm screwed. It's level 12 Prince. Can you believe that? Just like that, my tower's pretty much down. All right, well, let's try a Goblin Giant in front. I've been suffering here. Oh, the Sparky, thank you. Please, can we just turn the game around? Okay, okay. Team up on that Meg and I. It's two women on the Meg and I. The two women were going from behind. I'm from the front, even though it's not meant to be like that. No way we just won that. That was pure luck. Alright, we made it past 420 trophies, my favourite number. And then I got this. More useless. Now all the scummies, they're screwed. We don't need two spells, honestly, and Rock is trash. Alright, let's go. Having Electro Giant made the games partially easier, but I was still having super hard games. I mean, look at this. Let's put Pekka here. Please take the tower down. One HP. Are you serious? I can't even cycle to my lightning. You gotta be joking. That's the problem with this deck. You have no small spells. And this was my final game to Arena 13. Oh, no. The thing is, I don't have enough elixir to defend both lanes. Look at both of our towers. Sparky, I swear to God, if you don't hit that mini Pekka. Okay, Electric Giant Sparky, let's go. Who can the Sparky? Okay. If we went to the Electric Giant, I would have quit. That Sparky hit that. Which is this guy done? Three Musketeers here. Look at the Pekka on the right side. Now we put Goblin Giant. Finish this off. Finish this off. Go cry about it. Go cry about it. Go cry about it. And we are now on our final stretch. Wait, you need to be higher king level to progress to the next arena. What level do I need to be? What? And after almost 13 hours of pushing, I had to leave the challenge at 4,600 trophies because my levels were just not high enough no matter what I did. Make sure to subscribe just because I spent a whole day doing this craziness. And comment down below, Banana, if you made it here. I want to see how many people watch the whole thing. I, I'm a go now. I'm a go. Bro, I'm, I'm depressed. Bye.